Hi, I'm PJ Stahl, Power Systems Ambassador, and I'm here to talk about queuing with purpose today. Today we're going to break down the idea of, if you're working on specific exercises with a certain number of rounds, how to assign specific cues to each round to give the coaches or yourself purpose behind what you're looking for. It gives you something to identify and something to correct, but it also gives the athlete something to focus on during their movements. I'm here with Coach Michael Berry. He's going to help us with the demonstrations. For the purpose of this, I'm going to use the example of a back squat. So if we were doing eight rounds of four reps for back squat, let's say this is the strength portion of your workout, I would start off by always cueing the spine first. So shoulders to hips. We want neutral spine on every movement. After we start with the spine, then we work from the ground up. So on the first movement, let's say Michael's my athlete in class, he would be stepping to the bar. I'd be cueing the movement. We're gonna be doing four reps of back squat. It's gonna be a high bar position. In this movement, I want you to focus on neutral spine position. So we're gonna to have to watch the depth of the movement, not it going too deep so your hips aren't tucking under. And at the top of the movement, making sure we're maintaining that nice upright chest position. So I give the athletes the purpose. I cue them to step under their bar, step back, set your feet, and give me four back squats. I cue everyone at the same time. They're all doing their movements. I'm watching now down the line. So imagine you have a whole class here. So I'm cueing and watching all of the athletes as I work my way through the room, walking down the floor, and really looking for that nice neutral spine position. That's my only goal as a coach, and that's his only goal as an athlete. After he finishes, he can rack the bar. After you're done with your first set, while the athletes are resting or changing their weights, now you start giving personal cues. So you can go through. Michael had a nice back position, so I would give him that cue and say, good neutral position, great depth. I want you to maintain that as you increase weights through our eight sets. Going through every single athlete and giving them cues based on that one coaching cue you gave, which was neutral spine. Now moving on, like I said, I'm gonna build from the ground up. So next set, I'm gonna talk about foot position. So as the athletes get ready, they've done their rest, they've changed their weights. Second set, four reps, we're focusing on your feet. I wanna see good, strong foot position, not overturned out. Maybe about one inch turnout for that good drive out for your knees, and give me four reps. He's gonna sit through his hips. My only goal as a coach is to now watch all of my athletes and look at their exact foot position. After he finishes four reps, he'll rack his weight. Once everyone's done, and now I go through and I address every single person. Did some people have feet turned out? Was one foot overturned as opposed to another? I'm gonna go through and identify all those and give individual coaching cues and corrections so that they can have individual purpose to make sure they make the changes they need to. We'd work all the way through all of our reps. After that, at the end, and I finish all of our, all of our reps all of our cues, let's say I've gone through and I've done foot position, knee position, torso and shin angle, head position, and bracing. Those are my main focuses for back squat. After that, I would go through and give individual cues to every single person. Maybe someone has one of those individual things that they need to work on. So for our last sets, I would always give them individual cues. Everyone focuses on their own thing and we work our way through the last set. So the next time you're coaching, it will not only help your athletes give purpose to an exercise, but it'll help your coaches give visual purpose behind what they're looking for and what they're correcting in every movement. Add in purposeful cueing and your next class is gonna be a success.